Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna interview a cool car guy. His name is Dick Burns. Dick Burns had a nice light baby blue 1935 suicide door coupe. And I'm telling you, you don't wanna miss this one because it's coming up right now. So Levi, when we were walking around, well actually, you know what, no, let me back up. I wasn't walking around, you were walking uh, yeah, around. I was walking around, but let's tell the story from the beginning, where we're traveling down to Newcastle, Indiana, down, what was it, Route 31? Yeah, Route 31. Route 31 in Indiana, and Levi looks over and says, hey, what is that going on over there? Look at that, that monster truck. And I look over and there's a monster truck sitting on a trailer with a bunch of everyday cars behind it. And this is in front of Sutton County Museum. I don't even remember the name of the county. And he goes, no, it looks like a car show. I'm like, you're crazy, there's no car show. Those are like every, everyday normal cars. And then we drove down the road uh, a block and what did you see? Yeah, we got about a half mile away and I'm like, you know what, Mark? I don't think I could drive any further without being nosy and seeing what the hell was going on back there. So we did a Yui. Drove back, turned down his little dirt, dirt road, turned into a driveway, and there was a tent set up around a barn. And the only reason I wanted to turn around is I saw in between two barns a hood to a cherry red car or truck, and I knew there was a car show going on. My spidey senses told me. Spidey's. But we get there, how many cars are there? We're like number four. Right, there was like four or five cars there. <laughs> And uh, we pull up and they had a tent set up for registration. And I said, hey, you guys having a car show? Yeah, we're having a car show. And I'm like, what time is your car show starting? He says, well, it's from 10 until three o'clock. And this was probably about 9.30 in the morning. And uh, we had left uh, Joliet at about six o'clock in the morning and we headed straight going towards Newcastle, Indiana. And we really didn't realize that we had so much time on our hands and me having an old car I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of time in case we had any problems with the vehicle. Right. But here we are driving along and we find a car show and we end up staying there until about two o'clock in the afternoon. And then they wound up getting, I mean, I didn't count, 80. but 80 cars? Yeah, there was 80 cars 80 there. 80 cars, wow, it's crazy. So they had 80 cars. We uh, were one of the first five cars in the lot. We parked at a nice little parking spot. We ended up meeting some great people. Uh, we got four interviews just out of this car show yeah. that we never expected, but the people were so nice and so inviting and uh, the hospitality of the guy who was the president of the museum there and uh, just everybody was awesome and we really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm Dick Burns. This is a 1935 Chevy Deluxe. We bought the car in Danville, Illinois, and we brought it home, and a good friend of mine, Steve Schofers, has Schofers Body Shop, helped me tear it apart, and we redid the whole thing from bottom up. Uh, it's got a 350 crate Chevy engine in it. Uh, the running boards, we raised the fenders up and put the running boards under the fenders. It runs 55 miles an hour all day long. The interior, I had a gentleman from Plymouth, Indiana. He did the interior for me and it's all leather. I've had Mustang seats in it to begin. Now I got Camaro seats in it, which lowers me. I got a four inch top top on it, and he did a wood grain on the inside and the doors and the dash. I have a radio in it, but it's in the glove box. 
So if we want to play the radio, we got to open the glove box, turn it on because I didn't want to put no holes in my dash. Well, the back seat is on a saddle and it pulls out and the back part of the seat folds down for luggage or whatever. So, because I have no trunk, 35 didn't have a trunk. It's got all new speakers, new seat belts, everything is new on the inside. New headliner, the wheels on, on my car is American Racing. Tire, uh, rims. Uh, I like them due to the fact they look like the old Krager. I've got 56 and 57 Corvette bumpers on the front. And then I connected them both with a, a stainless. Uh, bar uh, on the back. I got a 49-50-51 Chevy rear trunk guard. And I bought two of those, turned one upside down, and made brackets. And that gives me the look of a, a Chevy, a bow tie. My name is Dick Burns and I have this 35 Chevy Master Deluxe and it's for sale. I'm asking $30,000 for it. I just had all new interior put in it and that was $10,000 for that. My phone number is 765-210-4982. Give me a call if you're interested. My name's Dick Burns. This is a 1935 Chevy Deluxe, and that's why I'm a car guy. Yeah, so the, uh, the name of the car show was the Round Barn Car Show. Yeah. And it was the Fulton County Historical Museum. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, what a cool car show they put on. All the money that comes from this helps support that museum right. that is owned by these people. They have a board of directors and it's not owned by the state, believe it or not. Anyways, if you guys want to check out the website for this place, it is the FultonCountyHistory.org. Go check it out. I'm sure there's a place on their website where you can make a donation to the museum as well. And I will put that link below the video so make it easier to click on. Sound like a good idea? That's a great idea. Cool. So anyways, here, keep that. So anyways, we're walking around this car show, handing out our business cards, meeting people, and in the corner of my eye, I see one of the most beautiful cars I've ever seen simply because of the paint job. And you know, you know me, I like 34, 35 coupes. I'm nuts for them. I think they're most beautiful cars. This paint job on this thing, I can't even describe what color it was. It was a baby blue, but it was a bright baby blue, turquoise, absolutely gorgeous car. We had to go over there and take a look at it and we wound up meeting the owner, Dick Burns. What a great guy. Very, very soft-spoken gentleman, but super nice. Yeah, this guy wouldn't hurt a fly. He's totally soft-spoken, uh, gentle, very gentle, nice, nice guy. Uh, we made him sit inside of his car to do his interview because he talked so softly. And the wind and, was uh, blowing, yeah. And the wind was blowing pretty hard that day. But what an interesting car. The guy has done a ton to it. It's got a Creed Chevy 350 in it. Um, I know that they went through and redid the entire suspension on the car. Um, he told me that there was $10,000 just inside the interior, interior which yeah. was all leather. And uh, he was telling me about the saddle that was built underneath the back seat so they could pull it, the seats down and actually create almost like a bed area or a place for you to stack luggage. Yeah. Because those cars didn't come with a trunk. Right. Um, yeah, no trunk in 35. What a cool what a cool guy, what a cool car. Camaro seats in it so it would sit a little lower so you're comfortable. Yeah. It had a, uh, 
you know, it had a really cool, totally fully adjustable steering wheel on it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know chop what more top. I could say. You had a four-inch chop. Yeah, the chop was amazing on it. And uh, if anybody knows what a chop top costs, uh, you, that could cost you five, six thousand dollars just by itself. Yeah. And uh, believe it or not, the car was for sale, as you you heard in the video. Yep. Dick tells you exactly how much he's looking to get out of the car. Leaves his phone number. And uh, geez, what a great guy. What a cheap car. I think what he's asking for is probably fifteen thousand dollars less than what it's probably really worth. Yeah. But. Um, what a great guy. I hate that he's going to be selling it, but I think he's moving on to bigger and better things. Yep. And uh, he's going to be moving to Florida permanently, I believe. And uh, He'll get himself a nice Florida car and do some cruising. There you go. Um, so one of the uh, uh, cool factors on the car, too, was, and I thought it was very creative, um, he took bumper, the back bumper, and he got two of them, and he put one on, and he turned the other one upside down, and it makes the Chevy bow tie logo. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. What a creative guy. And no radio on the dashboard, as you saw. He didn't want to put holes in his dashboard, so he puts the radio in the glove box. What a cool idea. Yeah. No, that guy had a lot of a lot of cool twists on the car. I love that it had suicide doors. That did it for me. Yeah. Uh, I love the suicide doors on it, 35. But, uh, you know, he's he truly knew his car. And yeah. uh, I love that he knew his car. Super nice guy. Did a great video for us, great interview, and uh, I can't and wait for him to see The motor sounds great. This. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is another guy who can't wait for his grandkids to see his video because, yeah. you know, Grampy's going to have a video on YouTube. What more could you ask for? Exactly. So thanks a lot, Dick. Good luck selling that car. Good luck finding another one. And good luck on your retirement in Florida.